Hello and welcome to the Man Games. This is the podcast show. It's the man and the wife podcast today. We are doing our first watch along. So it is a watch along of Superstars January the 23rd, 1993. So I'm assuming this is the go home show before that year's Royal Rumble. So I've never, well, we've never seen this, so it'll be the first time. First time we've seen it. It's um, this one was a request, wasn't it? We got a request in the comments. Yeah, we somebody. got a request on someone on social media. Oh, so sorry. if you're not found us on social media, check us out at the Man Games. We are on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Um, so if you have any requests, you know you can um, message us or drop us a comment, and we'll try our best to do either as... watch alongs or reviews or anything. We'll uh... <laughs> <laughs> not anything. <laughs> Did you say day? <laughs> I wasn't. I was just thinking someone's gonna ask us to review Halloween Havoc '98 or something. That was my worry. All oh, right, okay. No, I thought. It would but be before good. we go into that, if you do enjoy this podcast, please like this vi- um, video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and make sure you have your notifications turned on so you know when the next podcast goes up on the channel. So, so to find this, you need to go onto the WWE Network, go to In Ring. Then find Superstars, and then scroll through to January the 23rd, 1993. So we're on six seconds at the moment, so we're going to click play. Three, two, one, and play. So you should be seeing the intro to the show. It's a lot quicker this intro than like the new ones, isn't it? Like a lot quicker changes, do you know what I think? Um to be honest, I skip through the the, the oh. opens these days. But the longest person you've seen is Shawn Michaels. He sounds so sorry, Vince McMahon sounds so raspy, doesn't he? Yeah. So you can see on commentary, the King, Macho Man, and Vince McMahon. What a commentary team that is. King does look smart though, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. And Macho Man looks very luminous. <laughs> yeah. So McMahon... Something about someone called Crush, I don't even know. Yeah. It's been taken up by Doink the Clown. Hmm. So we, we've never seen this, we don't know what's going on along storylines or whatever really. So I, be- I believe that Royal Rumble, it was the Royal Rumble was for the WWF Championship at the time. So you know when we went to the Royal Rumble, it was for the belt. Yeah, yeah. That year's was for the belt as well, I, I okay. think. Or maybe that's the 92 Royal Rumble, maybe. Um... I do enjoy that, sorry, completely off topic. But they're like badly sort of like um, copy and pasted over the top, aren't they? Yeah. Like a bad background. It's actually not a bad card, really. <laughs> So Undertaker kicking off the show. Ah, yes, so sorry. It was the year before when the Royal Rumble was for the championship. 92. A lot of people saying that is the best Royal Rumble ever. All right. Wow, Undertaker looks so different. Yeah. I do enjoy that the foam um, earns... Like in the crowd. Like not a foam finger, a foam urn. urn. So the Undertaker is going up against Dave, Dave somebody or other. Something, yeah. Never heard of him? Have you? No. But Paul Bearer. How good was Paul Bearer? Yeah, he really was. You know, I didn't like it took me years to work out the, the Paul Bearer refer- reference. What do you mean? Paul Bearer? What you have at a funeral? Paul Bearer? What's a Paul Bearer at a funeral? Oh. Doesn't matter. What is a Paul Bearer at a funeral? It's someone that pulls a coffin, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I 
Who's that on commentary then? It's a man. What, talking like that? Yeah. He just sounds so different to like how he was earlier. because yeah, he's not like shouting now, is he? He's yeah. just talking. Matches are slow, slow, aren't they? Yeah. Like, such different matches. Like a takedown's been put over as a big move. Yeah. Now the Undertaker's like trying to rip the guy's face off. <laughs> they got like a promo over the match. I've seen that before. Have you? Sometimes they do it these days, like at the beginning of the match, but not dur- during the match. Yeah. Strange to see take over not a lot of tattoos as well. Yeah, just he looks like a little baby, doesn't he? Yeah. I can't believe so. Is this like superstars? Is this like Raw or SmackDown? Yeah, or? I'm sure. Like this is. Is this what like Raw was like before Raw? I, I don't even know to be honest. I don't know, but imagine it being now 40, 45 minutes. <laughs> yeah. So it looks like Taker's gonna go for is it the tombstone already. Oh, and he's hit it. Like, those gloves are awful that Undertaker's wearing. And that is it. The Undertaker beats Paul. Was it Paul? Was he called Paul? No, Dave. Dave. Uh... Dave somebody's. <laughs> he was so important in this match. Yeah. As, as if, like, the the, the replay is a, a, just like a takedown, like... It doesn't happen anymore, does no, it? No, like all. It was a takedown and then a um, tombstone, and that was it. So... Now, an update of the WWF magazine show or something... Adverts, isn't it really? Yeah, by Ming and Jean. What is this? <laughs> what are we watching? So this is the prosthetic arm that Doink used to take down Crush, and it's full of lead. Oh, I, I, I get, I get what we're watching. It's ah. just awful. <laughs> mean Jean just throws it away. But it is still twenty to thirty pounds. Yeah. It's sad, like watching this, to think how many people that were watching us now passed on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Matt Sherman, Gene Oakland, Paul Bearer. So now they're showing a recap of last week with Crush. So I believe and Crush doink. um later on became Brian Adams in WCW. His hair's awful. That is a proper um Early 90s hairstyles and yeah. those mullets. Gotta love it. So now we're going to see Don't... <laughs> really? <laughs> it's like that chick in the crowd, like, absolutely mortified it. Yeah. <laughs> Look at her go. She could not watch some of the hardcore matches, could she? No. <laughs> He's barely even hitting him. You can tell, can't you? This so is... Sergeant Slaughter comes and pulls him off. This is horrendous. Like, you're not in a... <laughs> Oh, wow. I 
I mean, you can see why, like, people you said it's like it was a bit naff wrestling, do you silly, know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, a bit silly. This is when wrestling's very cartoonish. Yeah, they literally have a clown. Yeah, and now he's this guy. Well, saying which... that though, there's stuff like that happens, and then when you see like Brad and Mr. Perfect wrestle, like it's it's completely different. Yeah. So now they're going outside. This is obviously still a replay. And they, oh, they're getting a, a, an ambulance because he was that badly hurt by an arm. Well, that ambulance is very, very quick. I know. It's what good service. That Shane McMahon in that white suit. I don't know. No, no. For a minute, I thought it was Shane McMahon. Why is Macho Man on commentary? He's just wasted. He's like Samoa Joe at the moment. Like, I can't believe this guy's knocked out of a prosthetic arm. Mm. <laughs> he kept hitting him. He kept hitting him though. This is a very long flashback, isn't it? Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, It's one thing that always like annoys me about wrestling. Like they show too many like replays and things. Like it annoys me when you watch an episode of Raw, and then like starting the second hour, they show a replay. What what's happening in the first hour? And it's like I know I've, I've been watching. Yeah, I don't know. It just seems I feel like they could have got the story over much quicker. Maybe they've just done no more content with this show, so they just sort of play. The actions of this clown. <laughs> so, Crush will no longer be in the Royal Rumble. Shame. Right, so now we're going to see some more action in the ring. Who is that? Um, Ken Johnson, that's who that is. He's got a hairy chest. Mm. Look at that outfit that woman is wearing and that hairstyle. So, is this Matty Gennetti? Yeah, this is Matty Gennetti making his way to the ring. Love so we we actually saw him at um, the Philadelphia Wrestling event in I Liverpool. I thought we did, but I didn't want to say that and he'd be like, no. Yeah. He was in a very bad way. Like, I think... Was like, he the one on stage? Um, like, flirting with all the women and yeah. winking and being a creep, yeah. Yeah, yeah, he was. Yeah. It was a bit cringy, wasn't it? <sighs> yeah, well, I suppose... That must be what drugs and drink do to you, I suppose. Yeah. So I think the Royal Rumble, it was Jeanette and Sean fighting for the, the IC title that year, I think, maybe. Oh, yeah, they see Sean with the IC title. Look at him chewing that gum. I was going to say, he's got like a full stick of chewing gum in his mouth. When you see that like um, IC title, it just makes you cringe at the one they've got now. Yeah. Yeah. Just the, the belts now, they just look like toys, like kids' toys. I just think it's really disappointing that they all look exactly the same, really. Yeah, there's no, like, really, like, prestige about them anymore. That's one thing I really like about the AEW Championship. It's like, it looks like a belt that, you know, you, you could be proud to hold. Yeah. So, Jeanette, it's kind of like a famous of there on Ken Johnson. He gets the pin. Breaks the fourth wall. So these matches are real quick, aren't they? Very quick. I probably would have gotten to wrestling quicker if I had known 
this is how quick they were. And he gets a big celebration. <laughs> what cheesy! I love yeah. his music. Sean Mooney. Mm. So promoting the Royal Rumble here. You ever heard of Tito Santana before? Nope. No? Have you? Yeah, of course I have. <laughs> Sorry. What have that for? Well, I knew, I didn't think you would have done that, so I asked you. Alright, but then you're like, oh, of course I have. Well, you didn't know who that... Oh, no, the middle guys are like was. squash guys, though, aren't they? And who is this? Um, I don't know who this guy is. Oh, wow. Well, so you don't know everybody then, do you? No. He looks like some sort of... um. Caveman, doesn't he? It is. Yeah. The caveman that's got a good razor. Yeah. There's Owen Hart and Coco Beware. So let's just like. Um, Royal Rumble promos, aren't they? Yeah. Building the Royal Rumble. I wonder how much they were back then, like the pay-per-views. Uh, I don't know. Um, not, not even sure who these guys are. They look like... Um, <laughs> they've got the robes on, like... Um, what did we just watch the other night? Um, what did we just watch the other night? Yeah. Uh, with... Wrestling or... No, WCW guy and... David yeah, that cat? Yeah, and he was wearing that on his horse. He was oh, wearing right. a cape on his horse. That's what they look like. Okay. You got to think. Yeah. I'm telling you. Oh. oh, I thought it might give you a price there, no. but no. It's not been a lot of action, really, is there? Like, two matches so far. How yeah. Far, what are we in, like... 16 minutes in. We've had two matches that have probably been, what, two, three minutes each? Yeah. Matches back then, though, weren't as long as matches are now. Mm. So, who's coming to the ring now? Is it the Reaper Man, is it? Oh, no, Papa Shanga. I just, I just saw someone walking with something in the hand. So, do you know who Papa Shanga is? Nope. The Godfather. Is it? Mm. I didn't know that. One of his many characters. Ah. And Rudy Gonzalez. Do you know him? No. Oh. This is be a lot of squash matches then, doesn't there? Yeah. <laughs> that kid's thinking, what am I watching? So I'm sure Papa Shango was meant to get like a big push at one point. He's meant to interfere um, in one of the, the matches at one WrestleMania and he was like late go, going to interfere or something so it didn't work. So oh, really? Stopped, stopped his push, yeah. Oh, what a mistake. He's a lot bigger than you think though, Papa yeah. Shango. Oh, Godfather, should I say. Like he's quite tall, isn't he? Like Yeah. Oh, and every match has a promo over it. So I reckon after this promo, we've got 30 seconds of action and then it'll be over. Yeah. Obviously, it's about like the characters, isn't it, more than the um, oh, yeah. matches? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, that was a stiff body slam there, wasn't it? It's going... Oh, wait. 
Elbow drop. This match has actually gone longer than I thought it would now. He goes and talks to his skull, naturally. Actually, quite a good character, the Pavashenko, isn't it? I, I quite like, like, like the look of him, yeah. Mm. Unlike with the smoky head and. It's a bit like an old school Bray Wyatt. Okay. Well, like with a holding. A... No, no, yeah, yeah, I, I get what you mean. Not as good, obviously, I just meant like. So he does his wow. finish taunts and then pins him. Wow. <laughs> he looks so bored, the guy who... Um, is it Rudy? Yeah. Thank <laughs> <Good. laughs> That's an interesting finisher, isn't it? Yeah. I don't understand why, like, you do the finish, the, then not immediately pin him, you taunt and pin him, don't get that really. Yeah. So they're advertising now. Um, the magazine, I think. Yeah, Wrestling Spotlight, I think it's called. It's got um, Bret Hart on the front cover. So King and Matt German arguing about who's going to win the Royal Rumble. So now, a recap of two weeks ago, Razor Ramon taking out Owen Hart. Owen Hart. Dude, why didn't they show a longer replay of that? I know. It's like a, a massive long replay of the other thing. We didn't need to see that. Yeah. And here comes, I believe he was a WF champion at the time. Yeah, Brett the Hitman Hart. I think he's good looking. Um, compared to just in general. Yeah, I think he, I think he's uh, an alright looking guy. Yeah. I wish when we went to Full West and we got some of those pink glasses now. What's the best thing of him being good looking? Nothing. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> I saw a kid wearing them and I was like, I want a pair. So he's cutting a promo, but Reza is already interrupting him. It's a bit hammered, doesn't he? Is that just his character? Yeah, I mean, that's just his character. Then. Oh, right. <laughs> it's meant to be like the Scarface character, isn't he? Oh, right. I don't, I've never seen Scarface. So... You've never seen Scarface? No. I don't think you'd like it anywhere. It's way surprising. Bad. Too bad for you. Well, it's a classic. Have you seen it? Yeah. Oh. Years ago. I'll do that pre me then. Pre you, yeah. All the good memories are pre you. <laughs> <laughs> no, so I watched it probably about 12 years ago, so. Did you watch Because of Raising Ramon? No. Oh. Someone from work lent me it. Okay. Yeah. I mean, this guy at work used to lend me DVDs, and like I never even asked him, like, he used to bring me DVDs and. But you used to watch them? Yeah. Oh, that's nice of him. I know. Sorry, I'm not going to listen to the promo now. Yeah, he's just saying he's going to squash Brett Hart. A cockroach. Do you like that belt? Yeah. Yeah. I, I do like the belt. I just think com compared 
if you put that belt next to the IC title, the IC title is bigger than that, and I think you know your your yeah. main championship should be bigger than your your middleweight championship. Yeah, yeah. I agree. <laughs> I think it really suits Bret Hart, though. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I don't think Bret Hart ever held a title that didn't suit him. Yeah. Good point. He just looks good with gold, doesn't he? Mm. So is Razor going to come out or not? I, how he doesn't swallow that toothpick? Like this. When I was a kid, I used to always walk around I with knew you were going to say that. I was waiting for that next. Glad you gave that habit up. I think you were super cool when you were doing it. Yeah, of course I did. <laughs> Everyone else was like, thinking, you twat. <laughs> you can't swear on here. Sorry. I was trying to think of the word to describe it. It's not a swear word, but it's just not come to mind, so. I reckon if Razor had left to go to WCW, he would have been a, a world champion in WWF. Yeah? Yeah. I think he would have stayed sober? or I think there would have been more, more chance of him staying sober in WWF, personally. There wasn't as many... Um... I, I feel like if he was starting to go down the wrong road, like McMahon would put him into like rehab or something before things got out of control. Yeah. Whereas in like WCW, there was obviously no, no one to... Um, Help them out. They, Help them they were out. using it, weren't they, as stories, so... Yeah. So that segment is now over, so we're back to in-ring action. Oh, it's Gary Jackson. Don't know who that is, neither. All right. It looks like it's going to be another squash match then. Yeah. With Bam Bam Bigelow. You ever seen a Bam Bam Bigelow match before? I don't think so. What's his character? Um, bit of, like, bit of a hothead, like thinks he's hard kind of thing. Okay. He looks like a, you know, like, um, like his, his gear, his ring gear, you know, like, um, cars, like, with flames on the side. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it looks like, like a hot rod, that sort of thinking. Do you main event into WrestleMania? Did not know that. Which yeah, one? Um, 11, I want to say. Main event into, against some, like, um, American footballer, I can't remember. LT something I want to say it was called, but can't remember his name off the top of my head. All right, Bigelow looks huge compared to this yeah. Gary guy. Is that his name? Oh, hanging up on the ropes there. Yeah, it's probably been the most exciting match so far. Don't yeah. Think. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. I feel like the um, underdog has had like more of a what's the word? Fight, I suppose. Nice headbutt there. Oh, you listen, Bam Bam. He was in the Ready to Rumble film. Oh, was he? Yeah. Okay. We have a podcast on that as well. So if you want to check that out, we've got we're reviewing Ready to Rumble. Yeah, we sure do. It's our second most viewed podcast on the channel. Oh no! Come. 
So now the big boss man has come on the screen hitting a promo over this match. I don't understand why they're going to hit a promo like a, a bit bad man Bigelow while he's wrestling and you obviously can't hear it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Thanks for the... Oh. oh. Backbreaker? Yeah. Ooh. So I think he's going up top for maybe a flying headbutt. Wow. He's a big bloke to be going up top, isn't he? Yeah. Oh, and he's hit it. That's going to be it. One, One two, two, three. three. That, that match was the most, most about it. I mean, it still wasn't particularly long, was it? But... I love how invested the fans are. So much more than they are these days. Hmm. You don't think? Well, they, they keep cutting to more kids, though, don't they? Whereas, like, I know it's meant to be PG, but you, I don't know. You don't really see as many kids, um, like, as passionate as you do back then. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. What are they doing now? I, I, don't, I don't understand what's going on here. They look like they're drawing a penis out of his mouth, to be honest. <laughs> don't they? Mm, I don't like that. Oh, so now the nasty boy's cutting a promo. Jerry Staggs, Staggs, Staggs and Brian Nobbs. Brian Nobbs, uh, one of Hulk Hogan's best friends. Ah. Yeah. Did not know that. Mm. He's in loads of episodes of um, Hogan Knows Best, the reality TV show. Sure. They're not advertising American Red Cross. Put a headlock on hunger. Good tagline, isn't it? Yeah. So now it's another Royal Rumble report. Oh, look at that program. Yeah, that's a bit annoying. But when, like when we've been to pay per view, so we've been to Royal Rumble and SummerSlam, we didn't get like a really like special program. No, it was just like a normal program, but with a jazzier cover. Yeah, but then you went in mid, like opened up, and it was like kind of the same, wasn't it? Yeah. It's not the main event though, is it? Because the main event's a Royal Rumble match. Is it though? Yeah. Huh. So I've not seen the Royal Rumble 93, but that's like, that is a match that I'd be keen to watch. Mm. 30 superstars, one ring. <laughs> In WCW, they used to do like battle royals with like three rings put together. Oh, really? Yeah. Sounds a little bit too complicated for my liking. Sampling, is that a word? Yeah. Do you know that guy is? Nope. Tatanka? Mm. Yokozuma there? Mr. Fuji there, cutting the promo? He is a bit scary. Yeah. Undertaker's going to be in the rumble. So that's the guy that we didn't know he was. Do you know who that is, that guy there? He looks like an Uso. It's Rikishi. Aha. Uh -huh. Yeah. So I guess I didn't know who it was. So now Mr. Perfect kind of programmer. <laughs> so like when I... 
when I was watching wrestling as a kid, like he was on WCW's Mr. Um, sorry, he was Kurt Engin. And like he never, well, like I never really got to see him, you know, wrestle the matches in WCW like he did here in the WWF. Like I didn't realise how good of a wrestler he was until like I've, I've gone back and watched his stuff. Yeah. How do you get the name Mr. Perfect? Like, what's... Good at everything. Oh, uh, right, okay. I guess that makes sense. I think I thought like meant look, and I was like, he doesn't look perfect to me. It's not my type. It's your type. Not Mister Perfect. Uh, okay. More, more. I don't know. I say Bret Hart was better looking than Mister Perfect. Okay. So not Bob Buckland then. No. He seems like the most boring person I've ever met. <laughs> it's like he forgot his promo then. <laughs> <laughs> and his voice is just like monotone, isn't it? Like, yeah. And they're just announcing every reason they're wrong, but yeah. that's what they're doing. Do you know that the RS man is? He's the father of Bo Dallas and Bray Wyatt. Ah. Oh, Rick Flair's on screen. Yeah. So he won the Royal Rumble the year before and won the championship. He sounds exactly the same as he does now. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah. His teeth are awful. That woo was a bit deflated, wasn't it? Yeah. So do you know who wins the 93 Roman Ball? Not a foggy. Someone that you've just seen. Okay. You're going to take a wild guess? Um, Bam Bam Bigelow. No, like someone that you've just seen in the oh. things. Um... Ted DiBiase. No. Who is it? Yokozuma. Uh, okay. He did have the strongest promo, to be fair. Am so I... now back in the ring. Sorry. That okay. to cut back... you off. I'm just used to it now, to be honest, so you huh? continue. So who's this guy? He looks like a Stan. Dale Wolf. That hair, Dale. And that he's hair. going up against Kamala. Have you ever seen Kamala before? Nope. Okay. He's a... Oh, he's a character. Yeah. That's a good way to put it. So who do you think is going to win this match? Hmm. Can't figure it out for the life of me. He obviously can't see that mask, can he? (laughs) (laughs) He just have to walk the wrong way. I can't believe they're all just squash matches. I'd be a bit disappointed about what you're wrestling well, like, with. Re- yeah, but wrestling was a bit like that back then, though. Yeah. Like, like the so like on these, the, the more squash matches to build up to the pay per view. Do you know what I mean? Right. So then you're gonna actually pay for the fight. Do you, do you know what I mean? I suppose, yeah. That's why, like, back in the day when one, two, three kid beat Reza Ramon, it was such a big deal, do you know what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dale's trying to go for it and it's not having any chance. Oh, strike it's, there. This match isn't going to get very long at all. Oh, that kick. So who's going to be cutting a promo over this match, then? Not a clue. Um, just trying to think of someone that might have been around then. Diesel. Let's say Diesel. Maybe. Okay. He's going to come on the screen and cut a promo over this, maybe. Oh, 
Oh, I mean, I was right that someone did, just yeah. not the right person. Who is this? I don't know. It looks like a child. Oh, with a beard? Yeah. Oh, okay. Looks like he's drawn the beard on. He looks like, um, is he out of Bad Santa? The guy on... Yeah, what, who was on Raw last week? Who? That guy that's on the outside of the ring? I was joking. I don't know what you're going on about now. Because the guy that was on Raw the other week, the, f- the Santa Claus for money, Bernard. Oh, right, now I'm talking about Bad Santa. Oh, sorry, Bad Santa. Is that... What, the midget? No, the... the um... I know you mean, really, like, the, the security guard. No, not security guard, he's, uh. like, the... Um... Chief officer, is it? He's not the actual security guard, he's like the. Yeah, so he's like the security guard, isn't he? He's like the security guard of the building. Well, I suppose. Yeah, no, it's not, no. Looks nothing like him. Mm, okay. Oh, and that's it over. Kamala surprise wins. And he won't give up the pin. It's like something the great Cali would do. Yeah. He's going to try and pin him again. Is his character like he's really like what's his character? He doesn't understand I, I, anything. I'm, I'm not even sure. I know he slaps his belly. That's about it, really. Okay. I feel like he um, it's kind of just taking the mick out of um, um people with disabilities. No, like uh, people like tribal people. Right. It's awful. So now is Bobby the Brain Heathen cutting a promo. He was so good on announcing in WCW. There's a lot of glitter on this um, show. He's got some glitter on his sleeves. Yeah. I'm sure Nassis is, is Lex Luger. All right. I'm pretty sure he is. And he has like a gimmick where like he's all like, obviously, obviously he's muscular, but he's like looking in the mirror, looking at his muscles, that kind of. All right. I mean? Okay. Bit vain. I don't think that gimmick lasted very long. Hmm. And then he turned into like the American like hero kind of character. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Out. Miss out. So is that it then? It must be. So there's no like main event or anything. Wow. I don't understand. <laughs> so now there's um, Million Dollar Man and RS with Jimmy Hart cutting a promo. So yeah, he's the guy that's the father of Bray Wyatt and Bo Dallas. Yeah, yeah, I got that now. I kind of think that Ted DiBiase looked like younger as he got older. Like some wrestlers kind of do, don't they? Like Hogan, yeah. I think, looked, like looked younger. As he got older. Yeah. Now it's a tanker cutting a promo. I was never a, a, a massive tanker fan, really. I think I've seen him before. I've heard, I've heard the name, but... Yeah. He came back in, like, maybe, like, 2005, but they didn't really do anything, you know, really amazing with him. Yeah. And who is that? It's something called like Berserk, I think it's called. Berserker, that's it. <laughs> Everyone knows I'm really good at tossing. Yeah, I was guys. a bit worried where he was going to go with that. I 
Haven't we only heard from the Nasty Boys? Yep. You can see them again. How special. I really wonder, like, who came up with the hairstyle. Well, I think it was just... It's just how these things go about, isn't it? Yeah. We'll look back one day and look at these fluffy eyebrows that was got going on and think, what were we thinking? Mm, maybe. Maybe. No, we will. I know we will. And that is literally it. Oh, wow. That is, that is it. Superstars over and done with. Wow. That was a very, sh like, just nothing to know. Oh, wait a minute. So now the announcers are just bickering. Yeah. Hopefully, like, Macho Man, like, strikes the king or something. Yeah. Who's going to win the Royal Rumble? Yokozuma. That is it. Yes, sir, that is it. Wow, that wasn't really worth the uh, 45 minutes watch, was it? Well, like, I sorry. feel like just nothing happened. Do you disagree? Um, well, it was like nice to, like, for me, because obviously I've not seen it, it was nice to see like some people that, you know, you don't really like hear a lot of anymore, like Pavishanga and Kamala. Um, you know, it was good to see kind of like the interaction between Bra and Reza Ramon. Yeah, um, that was, that I wasn't was... a massive fan of that the hand thing with Crush and Doink. That was weird. Just all these squash matches, well, wasn't there? I just feel like it's strange. I've, just, I've never seen anything like that before. Like I didn't know that's what wrestling was like before. Yeah, well, I, like I, I, I didn't realize the matches were going that short either. Um... Not what I was expecting. Yeah. Glad we watched it though, because it's, it's nice to get different. Just like. See different things, isn't it? So like the history. Yeah, like you weren't watch something that, that was that. Oh. No, not at all. Not at all. So well, that was it from. Uh, unless you've got anything to add to the show. Nope. So that was it from this week's podcast of the this episode of Superstars. Um, did you enjoy it? Did you watch it along with us? Let us know in the comments. Obviously, like I said before, if there's something you would like us to watch along our review. Um, let us know that in the comments as well. Um, maybe not like a six-hour pay per view there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not uh, quite. Not quite. But yeah, if this was your first time listening, please subscribe to the channel, like this if you have enjoyed it, and we'll catch you next week for another podcast. Thank you for listening to the man and the wife podcast show.